Portugal is the most southwestern country of Europe. Porto is the capital of the north of Portugal. It's an old and beautiful city which lies by the Atlantic Ocean. Here you can find Antonio Cupertino de Miranda Foundation, which houses the Pepe Mani Museum. The foundation is located in the main avenue of Porto. It houses a conference center, the Pepe Mani Museum and a restaurant. The museum is very well known for the inclusive approach to different audiences. It is well adapted to disabled people and it currently programs also for families, older people and students. For the Paper Money Museum, local development, social inclusion, culture and education are the basis on which its mission and its project are grounded. In this context, the Paper Money Museum felt the need to improve the relationship with its neighboring schools in order to identify their real problems, their needs, their interests and their projects. The target was teachers and pupils from 15 to 18 years old. The museum contacted the University of Porto and together with the Museum Studies Department outlined this project in March 2008 and began with a small team researching. Some goals were set at the beginning. First, we began trying to motivate teachers to work with us, finding out what were their interests and needs. Two, this should be a project for education and social change. We wanted to participate in the education project of the school, planning together, developing social and knowledge skills. Three, the museum wanted to also to empower communities, to enhance the self-esteem of disadvantaged pupils, to use its social impact to play a direct role, combating absenteeism and early school dropouts. This was the mythology. From March to July 2008, we visit schools and talk to the headmasters and some teachers looking for those which we thought could be more motivated. The working team wrote afterwards comprehensive reports focusing social and economic status of the students, problems, interests and needs. These reports were studied, analyzed and discussed afterwards. On the 8th of July 2008, the museum invited every teacher contacted before for a general meeting. This meeting was very important because teachers show it very surprised with the open attitude and on the other hand show it willingness to cooperate. Project implementation, September 2008. A new school year began and new contacts were made again. Three schools, the nearest ones, defined very clearly what they wanted to do. School Clara Rezende, School Garcia de Horta and School Manuel de Oliveira. School Clara Rezende is a school with middle class students. After coming to the museum, inspired by the story of a pair of notes which show the same number, they belong to a well known fraud case. Some pupils decided they would like to study criminal minds and behaviors. The other part of the class preferred to work on a theme which they felt as very important, bullying. At first we were astonished. What has this to do with money? This is the collection scene. Should we refuse? Should we deal with subjects which were behind the theme of money? Then we accepted, because we related it to a fundamental question outlined before, communication, in this case lack of communication. People show is so active that they created a campaign in school for fighting bullying and a kind of club to prevent it. A third group decided to study volunteering. Three of them were so thrilled by, about the work they have chosen that they became volunteers in the museum and still are. For all of them, the museum provided conferences with profilers, working in the local police, volunteers and specialists in bullying. In school Garcia de Horta, pupils are from middle-high class and have different interests and needs. They choose to work theme related with economy and sociology. So the Paper Money Museum provided lots of lectures on needs, economic activity and economic science, inflation, prices and markets, income and investment, and also about domestic violence, new families and family structure. School Manuel de Oliveira is a very complicated school within a very complicated environment and with socially disadvantaged pupils. Many of them are gypsies and gypsies are not allowed to get out of school because their parents simply forbid them. 
The headmaster was very suspicious at first, and then he led the museum team to the local contract for the social development of this complicated urban zone, Aldoar. Soon we discovered that the needs of this community were so big that this program could not only include young people. So we defined three different targets, older people, poor families and young people. For the poor families we are providing finance education, teaching them how to manage a small income and how to save money. For the elder people we build specific programs. In order to show how important young people are, we invited them to celebrate International Museum Day. We also invited a group of young people with cerebral palsy. Altogether, they integrated very well, although it has been difficult to come to a successful end. From January to May, we lived the process of building a musical and dance show, and there has been a time for them to understand that there are different kinds of disadvantage, but that this can be overcome when people join together and understand the differences. The show was a success at the end. It was presented in the auditorium of the Paper Money Museum, and families, friends and lots of people attended it. It was also very important to have the presence of the town mayor and the culture town councillor. Our actors felt their work recognized and their self-esteem flew high. So this project, which began like this, has built so far this net, which means the museum is developing special programs not only for neighboring schools, but it is also empowering people of the community within its reach. It was a complex project which presented some difficulties. First, the coordination of everybody was a real problem. Second, we also had to deal in the beginning with lack of motivation from teachers. Third, teachers also said that going out of school was dangerous on account of the bad behavior of some pupils. Outputs. There are a lot of outputs, but the most important ones are, first, pupils who were non-visitors before, attended several conferences, produced PowerPoints, built campaigns in school, focusing bullying, participated in the museum's blog, and three of them became volunteers in the museum. Second, teachers are pleased and they promise to continue this cooperation. Third, the museum is providing finance education to 30 excluded families. And fourth, the relationship with neighboring schools and social organizations changed and so did the agenda of the museum. Outcomes. First, the perception that these participants had from the museum has changed completely. Before, they felt excluded. Now, this project showed them that they are important and welcome. Second, this experience to get out of their daily environment, school or quarter where they live, to participate in a project which was specially designed for them, made them feel part of the museum privileged audiences. They were actors in a place which before only belonged to others. Third, the visibility and the success of the project, the public recognition given by the local politicians improved their self-esteem. Fourth, when asked about the chances of the sustainability of the project, partners refer to these values, solidarity, openness of the museum, understanding and inclusion of multiple forms of disadvantage, recognition of local authorities, communication between groups and between groups and the museum, people's empowerment. Some went back to school, some found a job, some want to teach hip-hop to disabled teenagers and some pupils found out that they were no more afraid to speak in public. As a conclusion, it must be stated that the education and social agenda of the Paper Money Museum has changed. New aims have been outlined together with schools and organizations outside the cultural sector and new practices towards inclusions are taking place. The museum has developed a new relationship with its community and is now concerned with the need to sustain that relationship. Th this new challenge demands that audiences who before did not come to the museum are now consulted and take an active role in decision-making within the Paper Money Museum.